Dave. Today we are DIYing some fantastic outdoor yard games. We actually use Scott's lawn and they have awesome products to make your lawn healthy and green and beautiful because that is an essential part of having fabulous yard games. We are going to make a cornhole set from scratch and then we're gonna take an existing horseshoe set and spruce it up, make it totally Pinterest worthy. First up, we're gonna build the cornhole set which involves some drilling and sawing and screwing and then some beautiful painting of fabulous patterns. Let's go. All right, so first up, we are going to make this cornhole set from scratch. We got our saw and our drill out, screws and our measuring tape and our cool goggles. I mean, how cool are these, right? <laughs> So this plywood is the top of our cornhole game set. This is where we're gonna put the hole in, where you chuck the corn bags. Not bean bags, corn bags. They're gonna be stuffed with corn. So you need to pre-cut this piece. You can either do that at the hardware store or if you have a saw at home, you can cut it. You want a piece of plywood that is 48 by 24 inches. And then you also want some two by four pieces to create your frame. These are 48 inches and these side pieces are 20.5 inches that kind of sit inside. And these are two little legs and these are 15 inches and that just props up the cornhole set so it's at a nice angle. The list of exact measurements are on the blog post so you guys can see exactly what you need to do. So first I'm going to create the frame. These two side pieces are just as long as my top piece of plywood and then these two are going to create the frame and fit just within these two side pieces. So now you can see this is the frame, this is the underneath of the cornhole set. So now I'm gonna screw this frame together and I'm gonna do that using my drill and some nice long screws. Now it is time to screw the top on, which means I'm gonna flip it over. You want to obviously adhere your top to your frame, so you're gonna do that using some more screws. This time you don't need to use super long ones, you can use a little bit shorter because they just need to go through the plywood. So now my top is nicely secured to the base and now it is time to create the hole for my corn to go through. Because without the hole, it's not cornhole, it's just corn. So I'm gonna make this hole nine inches down from the top and 12 inches in, and that is going to be the center point of my circle. Now I'm gonna use a jigsaw, a wonderful, wonderful tool. If you do not have a jigsaw, you can rent one very easily from your local hardware store. They are basically little tiny saws that allow you to make cool little circles like this. I'm going to do a starter hole using my drill and a big drill bit. And the tip with the jigsaw is you want to go really slow so that you can get a nice clean curve. So I'm just going to smooth out the edges of the entire piece using an electric sander. Attach your legs. They're going to go on this one side to prop it up at an angle. All right, so now it's time for the pretty stuff. I want to make this a cornhole set that corresponds with each other. So I want to match the paint that I'm going to do on here to my bag. I have these beautiful fabrics here that I'm going to use to sew my corn bag. So I'm going to use this palette to influence what colors I use on the board here. This would be perfect for an outdoor wedding where you wanna have your cornhole set and your lawn games or yard games correspond with the color palette of your wedding or your party. So I have a couple different sizes of painter's tape here because I wanna do some geometric patterns and also some freehand patterns here with my pink colors. I think it might be kinda cool to do split shape dividing the hole. And then I'm gonna introduce this pretty pale pink. And I'm gonna use a pretty teal color, which brings in the teal for my fabric. I love how those two go together. black to create some polka dots freehand down here at the bottom and I also have this gold color to bring in the metallic gold fabric. So now for the sewing part I am going to simply sew these little bags for the corn for our entire cornhole set. It's basically like making tiny pillows. I'm going to be using these four different fabrics. They're actually upholstery fabrics which is pretty important because they're thicker and more durable so they'll withstand all the tossing. You want to make sure that your teams are distinguished by color. Uh, two colors that are gonna go on this back style and two colors that are gonna go on this back style. And I pre-cut a square here to use as my template. It's roughly seven by seven inches, but I'm gonna be sewing in an inch on either side, so it'll end up being about a five by five bag. Here we have our two squares. You're gonna sew these like you do a pillow where you put the faces together. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine at home, you could totally hand sew these edges, but it'll go faster with a sewing machine. We are gonna sew three sides completely and then on the fourth side, sew a 
little of the ways in on either side so you have a little space to turn it inside out, stuff it, then stitch it up. All right, now I am set up on another part of our beautiful lawn to show you guys how to update a store-bought horseshoe set. Now, I wanted to make one of these DIYs from scratch and then also show you guys how to update an existing set because that's an option too. This is the store-bought set here. It comes with four horseshoes in two different colors which distinguish the teams and then two rods. My plan for these horseshoes is to spray paint them two different colors. I am going to use a white and a hot pink. Then I'm gonna go in and really distinguish these and add some pizzazz using this nylon embroidery thread. I can actually use a flame to melt the ends of my knot. You could also use some hot glue to secure the thread before you start winding around. with our chic yard games. It's so much fun to play with our friends. I hope you guys are inspired to make some DIY yard games to have fun with your friends this spring and summer. And thanks so much Scott's Lawn for making it possible for us to have a beautiful green lawn on which to play. And make sure to subscribe because we have more DIY videos coming at you. And please comment. Did you like these projects? Huh? And if you do these projects, please post pictures using hashtag Mr. Kate so I can see. Thanks so much for tuning in. I love you guys a lot. I'll see you next time. Bye. Mr. Kate and add some E6000 glue to the center of each wire wrapped crystal. Let it dry. This will ensure that your crystals don't slip out of the wire and it will also add a layer of padding to the wire that is laying against your head. And you're ready to crown yourself.